Welcome back guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for being here, welcome to a brand new day, Road to TCG Worlds 2018, huge shout out to our sponsors, Tabletop Village and Sacred Scoop, thank you so much for your support, and um, thank you guys so much, uh, you guys voted Raichu, so Raichu it is, um, this list, once again, got to day 2, this list got to day 2, um, at Collinsville, so it must be good, um, this is not the exact list. I actually edited edited it with the changes that the original poster said he would. So we have Raichu GX 210 HP, powerful spark dealing 20 plus 20 more for every lightning energy attached to our Pokemon. Thunder dealing 160 and with a choice band dealing 190 is pretty decent. And Voltail GX dealing 120 plus choice band dealing 150 is a very nice amount so right overall a pretty decent card weakness to fighting is not ideal of course um, however we do have the Pikachu the nozzle Pikachu uh, nozzle is actually very important because we have Pachirisu Pachirisu with 70 HP has the attack snuggly generator um, for each of your bench Pokemon that has the nozzle attack search your deck for a lightning energy card and attach it to that Pokemon so on turn one we can potentially attach up to like five energy right between three and five so it should be pretty decent um so that's the combo right there we have one through tree gx 180 hp flashing heads prevents all damage by opponents pokemon that have special energy rumbling wires deals 100 and discards the top card of our opponent's deck and then lighting gx allows us to add an extra price card to our opponent's deck um rather price an extra price card to their prices um, two Lele and one Orang Guru for consistency purposes. And then we have four Cynthia, once again the newest card from Ultra Prisms making, um, making a splash. Two, uh, three Sycamore, two N, two Guzma and three Bridget. Then we have four Max Elixir of course to get more energy into play. Four Ultra Ball to search out our Pokemon. Three Choice Band, one Float Stone, one Palpad, one Super Rod and two Switch along with two Field Blowers. So that is a list that did well in Collins Field with some minor tweaks so let's try it in the ladder and see how well we can do with it um and yeah guys we'll play two games with raichu the stream seems to be flawless we seem to have figured out the issue maybe i won't need to buy a new computer which would be great um so yeah things are looking pretty good so far um uh, we're gonna mulligan and yeah, after this Raichu deck, we can use whichever deck you guys want. Puzzle Carpenter, Glacian Carpenter, or Zoark Golisopod with Laurentis, the most recent winner of Collinsville. We already showcased the recent winner of um, the recent winner of Sweden, so why not showcase the recent winner of Collinsville as well? So yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here and for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Max Rock, this weekend you have one special event and one League Cup in Chile and you don't know what to play. Do you think Ho Kiawe Wob is a good choice? I do think it's a good choice. Um, I do think it has potential and wow, we actually have a pretty good hand here. Um, I do think it has potential. Um, Especially like the games you start with Ho and you slow down. Um, or, well, you don't have to start with Wofet, um, but it's nice to slow down opposing swords and stuff. So I do think it has potential. Um, I really like the four Ho, four Kiawe, three Lele list. So I think those are my favorite. And look, we seem to be up against those precisely. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, Ho being weak to Raichu is actually really, really good for us. Um, so I'm gonna bridge it here off of the Lele and Grandy Lakers, do I have any tips on how to get cards on TCG online? Um, I mean, you should always trade the packs you get for the cards for the specific cards you need um, That's the best tip I can give you I guess uh, one the circuit tree is priced um, Never ever open the packs um, unless they're trade locked Then it's fine to do it uh, But it's usually never a good idea to open up um, to open up the packs like that um, What else um, I'm this account has everything so I'm actually not a, I'm not very good at trading But I'm sure other people in chat will have better better tips for you 
And there's energy on the active and Kiawe onto the ho Oh, Yeah, okay, so ho is weak to lightning, so we won't have any issues knocking it out, which makes me really happy. So we actually should have um, quite the big advantage against my opponent here. Um, I think I'm gonna attach energy to the Oranguru, and then I'm gonna Cynthia, and then Snuggly Generator will actually attach energy to each Pikachu, which is really nice. Okay, so we're gonna get three more energy into play. And there we go. Like, why does it make me choose three? Like, the order doesn't matter. It's really strange programming. Um, Vumansaur, I have seen the Greninja GX. Um, I have seen the Greninja GX. I do think there will be um, a way to play it. It's just, it doesn't come out until May. So it's too early to start thinking about that because Ultra Prism literally just became legal this weekend. And okay, I only expected my opponent to go after the Lele. So I'll promote the Flowstone Pikachu, but we do have access to Raichu. We should have an easy knockout here on the, um, on the ho Oh, Let me just do some quick maths. We're gonna deal one, two, three, four, five, six, 140. Yeah, it's more than enough for the knockout. And I probably want to end here. Um, so I'll discard the Lightning and the Sycamore. I'll grab myself a Raichu. Um, the Choice Band could be relevant, although not on this Raichu. Well, actually it could be. I hmm, I think I actually keep the Choice Band. Um, it might be important to knock out that Turtonier. Uh, my opponent will need a Choice Band and one Fire Energy to steam up and knock out my Raichu though. Um, the elixir does hit, which is pretty nice. Gonna attach energy there, and then I already got another choice band. If I lose it to energy, though, I could be in trouble. Well, no, never mind, because I have thunder, so I'll attach one choice band. And now we take a knockout with powerful spark, dealing a bajillion damage to that poor Ho Oh, and Pachirizu is amazing indeed. Um, Kike is giving you tips, Grandy Lakers, um, Raichu with Mui X Tech legit, um, Buzz is on all those otherwise, right? Yeah, I, I actually, yeah, I agree. Well, I don't know why there isn't a Mui X in this. Um, attaching two energy to Mew would actually not be difficult, right? Um, your attachment for turn could go there. Okay, so we see a Cynthia by my opponent. We see, who Elixirs. We're seeing elixirs, only one hits though. Can my opponent knock us out here? And if he can, can we get the return KO with not thunder? And there's a 190, okay, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're dealing exactly, exactly one. Okay, let me make sure. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 140, 160, 190. Okay, we're already dealing enough damage, which is great. Um, I don't think I will need to field blow away anything. And there's a victory. Okay, so Pikachu pulling in, I mean, Pachirizu pulling in the weight, just getting three energy into play right off the bat. Very, very nice. Um, and yeah, I agree, Mew EX would be really good here. Um, Mew EX should be really, really good. Um, Gaiwantha, I should be going to both Toronto and Charlotte. I should be going to both. I should be going to both. Um, unless something weird happens, I really should be going to both. I really should be going to both. Okay, so let's find another game for Raichu. That game was like perfect, right? Everything flowed pretty nicely here pretty pretty nicely okay okay and the stream there there has been some drop frames but nothing nothing really impactful right nothing really impactful i'm very happy about that i'm actually very happy about that okay so we win the coin flip Awesome. Although going second with this deck is not bad because you get to patch your potentially on turn one. Unless you get a hand such as this one. 
Um, Joe bro, how did your weekend cups go? Um, yeah, I actually forgot. I should be posting a, an Instagram post soon about that. Um, I, it's fine. No, nobody, nobody asked about them actually. Ooh, Hoopa. Hoopa is annoying. Is this a mill deck? Um, Hoopa is going to be very, very annoying to deal with. Um, my weekend cups, I got top four on Saturday with Zora Quival, and then I won the cup on Sunday with Espion Garb. So they went pretty well. They definitely went pretty well. Okay, this is a mill sort of deck. So we're gonna have to rely on Pikachu's quick attack. <laughs> That's very annoying. Um, uh, okay, we really don't have a better attacker though, right? Uh, oh, never mind, Oranguru. Oranguru is actually a pretty good attacker here. So, do I just bridge it for Oranguru? Well, it's not a pretty good attacker, but it's an okay attacker. Um, just swinging for 60. Just swinging for 60. Okay. So we won't be attaching energy this turn, but we're really not in any sort of hurry. So I'll grab Oranguru. I'll grab a Pikachu, I guess, and that's it. And then I shall pass. This is very annoying though. Very, very annoying. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is Glacian. Okay, so this is not... Oh, this is not a mill deck. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's Glacian mill. Maybe it's Glacian mill. Um, okay, want that? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be in Toronto for sure. So hopefully we can meet up then. Ugh, what is this hand? What is this hand? Okay, so I really need to draw cards with Oranguru, right? And now that I see the Glacian, I can evolve into Raichu. I can attach this. I can play this. I can also switch, potentially. Um, okay, now I regret not having the Pachirisu, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, my opponent misled me, though. My opponent definitely misled me. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna retreat and then switch into Tapu Lele. Uh, I'll be in Portland as well. I'll be in Portland regionals as well. Um, I should be going to every single regional that's uh, taking place right now or soon rather okay so i'm gonna attach energy to our guru to start preparing it to deal with the hoopa but i also need raichu to deal with the glacian if i took it go with the glacian that's completely completely fine uh, thank you joe bro yeah i was pretty happy um, about the league cup results pretty pretty happy okay my opponent promotes lele uh, very annoying seriously very, very annoying. I'm just gonna attach to Oranguru. And then I'm gonna instruct for two. Um, I get an elixir. That's nice. Which I whiff. That's not very nice. And then I'll just pass. No Lele ability for me anymore. Um, Old Trouble is decent here. Oranguru is actually also pretty good against Galatian, actually. Oh my gosh. Cyrus. Okay, choose two of your bench Pokemon to keep. Okay, I'll keep the Raichu and I'll keep the Oranguru. Getting back the Flowstone into the deck is actually okay, I think. Okay, so my opponent will go on the offensive now. And he targets down the Oranguru. So he recognizes that, well, that Oranguru is my response to the Hoopa. So now, I'm gonna discard these two. I'm gonna... Grab Pachirisu, I guess? No. I could also grab Surgitry. Surgitry is decent, but I'll just grab Pikachu. I might just end up having to use Pikachu against the Hoopa. And then can we get a supporter, please? Can we get a supporter card? Which is not Bridget. Okay, that's fine though, because I got the switch, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, I'll just Bridget. Um, I'll get another Pikachu and I'll get the Surgitry. Surgitry could potentially be good to wall uh, future Glacians. And then we just powerful Spark here. We have the two hit KO on the Glacian, guaranteed, no matter what. And then 
Uh, I guess if he has Crushing Hammer plus Flare Grunt, he would delay us a little bit. Uh, but we should be fine. We should, should be fine. Ooh, there's an Acer Ulta. That's okay. That is actually okay. My opponent playing very, very defensively. My opponent playing very, very defensively. Now we're gonna be forced to retreat into the Oranguru. Now we have to assume the way my opponent's deck is built, he's gonna have another Acerola. So is it worth it for me to attack the Hoopa this turn or just try to go against the Glacian? Um, no, I think it's worth it to just pressure the Hoopa now. Okay, so I'll retreat and then I'll Psychic. Even if we lose the energy, I think it's fine. We just, we really need to get rid of the Hoopa. Um, <sighs> Flare Grunt, okay, that means no Guzman, no Acerola, which is good. Um, you think Espen Zorak could be a thing? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, a deck, like not necessarily pure, purely like that, um, but a deck with, um, a deck with Espion GX and Zorak GX, like a, I believe a 3-3 card line and then a 1-1 Espion, and Zorak did well in St. Louis, or in Collinsfield rather, so I do think it's possible. Okay, so my opponent being very, very annoying. Um, what we can do is wall him with circuitry. He has already played two Team Flurry Grunts. So I think I'm just gonna wall him with circuitry. I'm gonna use my GX attack as well. Um, Raichu is nice. Cynthia is also nice. Pachirizu is okay. I'll attach to the active and then I'll Cynthia. Hello, Merida. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, oh, Zerky Tree can't wall Glacian. Oops. <laughs> you are 100% 100, 100 correct. Because Zerky Tree doesn't have an ability. Okay. Ooh, the Team Flare Grunt. I don't really want him to prize the Team Flare Grunt. That's fine. That's fine by me. Yeah. Yeah, Glacian turns off the ability. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. I feel like it was still worth it, though. Lusamin, oh, he's gonna get back the two Team Flare Grunts, that's so annoying, that is so annoying, okay, so N will go a long way here, N and Floatstone are pretty good here, N and Floatstone are pretty good, okay, choosing who to attack, okay, I definitely can't attack with this Raichu this turn, I also can't recharge anything at this point in time. So I think I give up on the Pachirizu. And I will end him so that he doesn't have the two grunts in his in his immediate hand. Um the elixir is nice, but I'll wait until I see what happens here. There's no way my opponent chooses not to take a knockout, right? There's just no way. Field blower, that's fine. He will likely place the 30 on this right shoe. I do need another choice one, I think, to reach for a two-hit KO potentially. <sighs> Such an annoying matchup though. Such an annoying matchup. Yeah, I should have used Patrizo when I could. I generally thought I was up against um, against a mill deck, though. I didn't realize I, I was up against Collision. <laughs> and if I had seen the previous screen, I would have seen Wishy Washy Walls. So that was the issue. Um, I will Elixir here. Okay, that's pretty good that it hit. And then I'll attach here. And then I will end my opponent once again. So with 5 energy, now I'm dealing 120 damage, which is nice. Um, my hand is dead now, though. My hand is dead. At least I have the lightning to have the back-to-back -back powerful spark. So we do have the 2 hit KO because Glacian has 240 HP. Even if he plays a Team Flare Grunt, we can just attach again and get a knockout that way. 
The issue will be dealing with a lot with another collision. I don't think we can deal with another collision. So we need my opponent to not have a water energy here. We really need that to happen. And hello, Flaming Axel. Thanks so much for being here. Um, Raichu is not a meme deck, though. I wouldn't say Raichu is a meme deck. Um, it it got day two and it got day two in Collinsville. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys get to decide. After this game, you guys get to decide what I what I play: Glacian Garb, Buzzle Garb, or Goddess of Zoark Lorentis. One of those three decks. You guys get to choose. Okay, goes after the Pikachu, but no energy is really good. No energy there is really good for us. Um, Pikachu is not threatened, so I'm not gonna evolve just yet. <clears throat> so I have a good target for Elixir. And now, uh, Raichu shouldn't be threatened either. But it might be. It's just, I don't want, I wanna keep the energy just in case I need to paralyze or something. Um, I'm just gonna have powerful spark, or if I need to retreat, actually. Because my opponent did get back Acerola and Kuzma. My opponent did get back Acerola and Kuzma. Um, I already uploaded Glacian's Orc um, to the channel. I already uploaded Glacian's Orc to the channel. So you can check it out on youtube.com slash table1 if you'd like. Uh, Mount Lanalika. Lanakila. Lanakila, yeah. Okay, so there's the Glacian. That's fine. There's a Team Flare Grunt, that's also fine. See, it was important to keep the energy. If I hadn't kept it... Um, ooh, there's a Counter Catcher, okay, that's bad. The combination of those two cards was really bad, okay. I do have my Floatstone, no, I don't have my Floatstone, and I don't have a Switch yet, either. So my opponent might actually successfully mill my deck here. How many? One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, I still have a ton of energy though, which is nice. Okay, so I think I, I will stick a more here. Um, N seems pretty decent to be putting back, just so that we don't draw as many cards. I will field lower. I don't have switch left or floatstone, so I will have to attach to Lele to retreat. Um, this. And then I will evolve the Raichu, the Pikachu rather, to protect it. And I will just take a more. I'm just looking for more energy. That's all. Wow. <laughs> all the energy that I did not get. However, if I hit this elixir. Yep. So there's two energy left in my deck, actually. Since I'm not threatened, um, this attack is actually pretty cool. Rumbling Wires, 130, and we discard my opponent's top deck, which was a Glacian. Um, I actually would have preferred him to top deck the Glacian. Um, a Raikou to recycle energy could be good, yeah. That could be good. That could definitely be good. Um, a Mew as well. Mew would be nice to hit Puzzle for weakness. So maybe the list isn't optimized much but i do think it has more potential than we might give it credit for now yeah okay so another kuzma now we know we have energy in our deck so all we need to do is sycamore there's the last energy card i believe we had a lot of energy priced then and Zuruki Tree with Rumbling Wires ends up being the MVP here. No, what? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I miscounted then. <laughs> My bad. And there we go. <laughs> Zuruki Tree Mail. Okay, so you guys get to decide which of the following decks we will use for the next two games. And that will be the last. Um, unfortunately, the first hour was essentially lost. Um... But the stream quality seems to be so much better, right? So much better, guys. Um, Volcanian Seal Valley, definitely not very good. Okay, so no more Raichu. We're not gonna play Raichu. We're not gonna play Weavile anymore. So you guys have Puzzle Garb, Glacian Garb, or Zoropod Laurentis. So let me know in the chat which one you guys want to see. I will be right back in just a second, okay? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 